guys, it's your girl Natalie, the One True Diamond, coming at you with a video. You guys, I am so excited for fall. I am ready for fall. It is getting to the point where I feel like fall is just my favorite holiday of all times. And it used to be Christmas, and I still love Christmas, don't get me wrong. But it's something about the fall colors just does something to me. And I am just ready to decorate my house for fall. I have a lot of work to do because as I'm decorating, I'm going to be trying to clean as well. So I got a lot I have to do. I know I'm not going to get it all done at one time because I am back in school and you guys I took two classes this time and it's going to be a mess. <laughs> it's going to be a mess. So right now the first video that I am going to bring to you is going to be me making a swag for um, this lantern that I have here. This is a lantern. I picked it up. I think I got some Hobby Lobby if I'm mistaken. But yeah, it's a farmhouse style lantern. And yeah, I want to make a swag to go over it. And yeah, so that's what we're going to be working on. That's what I'm going to be going over with you guys. Um, to make sure that everything is to go fall. How to make a swag. You might not have a lantern, but you might have something that you might want to hook a swag onto to just give your um, fall decorations that extra pop, you know. So you can do that. So I'm going to be telling you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to make it. And we're going to get this thing going, okay? So the first thing you need is some picks. And I just got picks that I had from last year or the year before, wherever. I'm not even sure where some of these came from. But this is, I have this. Oh, um, here they go. This is the Michaels tag. So I got it from Michaels. These. I think this came from, where is it at? This is a Dollar General tag, so, and it was like a whole bush of them, and I just split it because that's how I was going to do it down on each side. So that's Dollar General. This one looks like a Hobby Lobby tag. I think this is a Hobby Lobby tag, I think. But it's um, navy blue. And then I've got this where I've already used some off of it. And I'm not sure if I got it from Hobby Lobby or Dollar General. I'm not sure where this one came because I have cut some of the branches off. But I'm going to be using some of this to put in my swag as well. I have different fall ribbons. Some of this ribbon I had last year. Well, all that I had last year. I haven't bought anything new. I went in the store and I was like sad and disappointed with myself. I couldn't find out one thing to buy because I didn't need anything. I wanted to change mine. <laughs> I know you heard it right. I didn't need anything. That's some control right there, y'all. I wanted to switch out my stuff, and I see so much pretty stuff, and I keep going in the store because I said, I'm going to buy me something. It was the last thing I do. But lo and behold, my subconscious would not let me purchase anything because, y'all, I need to keep using the stuff I got. I keep saying I'm going to declutter my house and everything, but I can't declutter if I keep bringing in. So, my house, when I do it for fall, it probably look the same way as it looked last year. But guess what? It's okay. All right. You can get a couple of seasons out of your stuff. You're going to need to keep changing. You might can add one or two little pieces to it, but if I keep changing, you know, that's just me and my craziness to keep changing. But I'm not doing that this year. Okay. So bear with me. Okay. So these are just some ribbon I'm going to use to make my ribbon on my swag y'all I'm going back with the blue truck theme um because I have a pillow that has the blue truck on it and I have a um swag for the table either I'm going to use it on the console I'm going to use it there for that or I might put it on this table this year I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it but you see when I get decorated so yeah you need ribbon and I'm not going to use all this ribbon in my swag bow just want to let you know I just pulled out what look ballsy, what look like the colors that I'm going to be using. I want it to be coordinated and matching, so that's what I have. You will need some wire cutters. You will need some scissors. 
you're going to need a um, zip tie, pipe cleaner, and I use my bodabra to make my bow zip, okay? So, let's get started. thing I'm going to do is get my swag like I want it, which I'm going to take all my stickies off. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use these two here or use them somewhere else. I'm not sure. Because it might make it a bit too bulky with the way my leads and things are. But we'll see how I want to. And if you get your tail longer than what you really want it, you always can cut it down. And let me show you. This is what it looks like on the Bodabra as I have done it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting
And I cut at an angle, going from right to left. And that gives me my double tools. So now let me show y'all how I attach it onto my lamin. I'm going to try to use this one that broke. But what I do is I just take my pipe cleaner and run it through either a branch or the other pipe cleaner if I can. But since I can, I'm going to do a branch. Get a branch and see if I can get it to hold correctly. with it to see how I want it to be up there. And that's how I just twist it around the part. I'm going to take another pipe cleaner and make sure it's secure and attach the bottom part to. Hope y'all can see this, but this is my lantern with the swag. I'm going to um, take and put like maybe a flameless candle in here, or I might just put like some, um, you know, the little string lights in here to make it light up. I think that would be pretty, or maybe fill this with some pumpkins as well would look cute as well. So fill it with some pumpkins and then maybe put string lights within the pumpkins. I haven't decided yet, but once I get going through my, um, looking through what decorations I do have, I will decide what I want to do with it then. But you guys, I think it's going to be beautiful. 
and I will show you guys my finished tablescape because the first thing I'm going to do is do my entryway table and really I could cut this string I could cut those a little bit shorter and I might we'll see but yeah so I appreciate you guys watching I hope you learned something from this video I hope something you can take back to bring your Halloween not Halloween I'm gonna decorate for Halloween to bring your fall decorations give it that extra pop that you might want you guys so i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i would like for you to please comment like share first time coming by subscribe okay see what i have to offer okay i will thank you and i appreciate it you guys have a wonderful blessed night